Hello and welcome to another virtual craft with the Paul Sawyer Public Library. My name is Diane Dahoney and I'm the Community Service Librarian here at Paul Sawyer. Today we're going to be making clothespin holiday tree ornaments. Let's get started. If you registered for this craft and received a craft kit, you are going to have the following supplies in that bag. You will receive three clothespins, some green acrylic paint, uh, a small foam paintbrush, and some uh, small multicolored pom poms, a metallic star, some twine, and a metallic pipe cleaner. In addition to that, you will also need uh, a pair of scissors and either a hot glue gun or some white school glue will also work. The hot glue, of course, will um, be faster um, and things will set up quicker, but if you just have school glue, that will work just fine also. So to get started, first thing you're going to do is take your clothespins and we're going to twist these to get the metal pins off of them because we want the clothespins to be in two separate pieces. So all you have to do is just twist, hold it like this, twist, and you'll see that little pin will pop out or the little uh, spring um, and you can just pull it off and set that aside. You're going to do all three of them just the same. So once you've removed the springs from your clothespins, you're going to want to paint um, the pieces of clothespin. Um, and you have your green paint and your paintbrush, and um, you don't have to, um, but I painted them on all sides um, because you will be gluing parts of these together, but parts of them will show, like the little crevices and the places where they're not glued. So it was really easy just to go ahead and paint them completely. So I did that in advance. After you paint them, I just did a single coat. Um, this is what they'll look like. And it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but this will be your result. So you'll paint those and let those dry. It doesn't take very, very long. Uh, for that acrylic paint to dry on the pieces of wood. So once you have that together, or once you have those painted rather, um, you're going to glue two pieces of the clothespin together, flat, side to side. So you're gonna take two of those pieces and they're gonna fit together just like this. So the thinner, um, Thinner pieces will be at the top, the po uh, pointier, thinner edges, and um, the curvier part where you have the, the place where the spring was is gonna be at the base, okay? So we're gonna glue those together. Again, you can use hot glue or you can use white glue. Either way works. Line those up. If a little bit squeezes out the edge, that's fine. Just wipe it off. Okay, so you've got one piece like that. And then we're gonna do another one, just the same. So, pointy ends at the top, glued together like that. Once you have those pieces done, you're gonna sort of place those together just like this. And now you see they kind of fit perfectly together there. Put in those small ends at the top together. We're gonna glue that together. Just a little bit of glue there on one piece.
and let that set for a minute. So now you kind of have a V shape. The two remaining pieces of clothespin are going to go on the outside of the V that we've created. And again, we're going to have the smaller pointier end up. And you're going to want to have the curve, little curved out piece on the inside. When you do that, it'll fit together just like that. So you can see that it forms a tree. So we're going to glue that together, one on each side. And there you have your clothespin tree. Now all we need to do is decorate it and make it a holiday tree. So the first thing that you'll want to do, or that I found was the easiest, is to go ahead and put your star at the top of your tree. Um, so the stars that we've included in the kits um, are actually uh, stickers, but they're a little bit of a thicker kind of a foam sticker, so they hold up. I'm not going to peel the sticker back off of it. I'm just going to leave that on there so it doesn't get so it doesn't stick to other things. So I'm just going to hit hit it with a little bit of glue, a little dot of glue on to the back, and then onto the tree. You could also cut um, your star out of a piece of foam board or uh, some other thicker material. You could even do cardstock. It would be a little bit flimsier, um, but that would certainly work. Or you could do cardboard and paint it um, and glitter it up like this if you had that at home. We're going to do a little dot of glue. Oops. Actually, I'm going to do it right on the tree itself. and place it on there. So your star is placed on top. And for this tree, I'm gonna do kind of a silver, white, blue motif. So I'm going to next take um, my metallic pipe cleaner and we're gonna make a garland out of this. Um, so you'll need a pair of scissors. I'm gonna do two little pieces of garland across the tree. One up near the top and one closer to the bottom. And since it's a pipe cleaner, I can curve it a little bit and um, make it look more like a, a real garland, fit it to the tree a little bit better. So I'm just gonna trim that up to fit where I want it to go on the tree. Little dots of glue. And do uh, remember that when you cut this, um, the little end pieces will be sharp, so don't, don't hurt yourself on it. So we've got the first um, piece of garland on there. And I'm gonna do another piece down near the bottom here. As always, if you're working with hot glue, be very careful when you push in your garland on there not to burn yourself. All right, so now we finished our garland. And next we're gonna put our ornaments on. And for our ornaments, we're using little multicolored pom-poms. And then you just glue them on wherever you like. Right, so now our tree is finished and the only thing we have left to do is attach 
our twine to the back to make it an ornament. So what we'll do is take your piece of twine, you can turn your ornament over, um, and you wanna think about how big of a loop you need to hang your ornament. Um, that's completely up to you. I am gonna tie a knot at the end of the twine, wherever or however big you want the, the loop to be. And then I'm gonna trim off the excess tails here. I'll leave a little bit on there so we have something to glue onto the back. So there's our loop. And then I'm just gonna glue it right here, kind of near the top, um, in the top section of uh, the tree on the back. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And put that knot on and press it down to secure it. If it still feels a little um, loose, you can hit it with a little bit more glue. And there you have it, your clothespin holiday tree ornament. Now this would make an excellent craft um, to do with your family or even with uh, kids if uh, you're there to supervise, especially if you're using hot glue, but with kids you could uh, always use just white glue. Um, and help them with the scissors, but it's something that you could do with your whole family and I think everybody would enjoy it. Also, if you want to remember uh, that you made this ornament in 2021 or if you want to put someone's name on the back, there's enough space on the back you could take a black sharpie um, and put the year uh, or put someone's name or uh, something to remember uh, when, you, when you made this ornament. Thanks for joining us for tonight's virtual craft. We hope that you enjoy your clothespin holiday tree ornaments. When you finish your project, we would love for you to take a photo and post it on the library's Facebook page. We hope you enjoy your ornaments and your holiday season, and we look forward to seeing you at another program soon. Thanks so much.